Welcome back, everybody. I'm here now with that full forecast. Final one of the night. We're still in the 90s for most locations. Looks like a couple of people in the 80s so far. It looks like just Big Lake right now, just getting into 89 degrees. We're still seeing 95 here in San Angelo. Still seeing 94 up here in Abilene. So a decent spread of temperatures, but looks like we got Ozona over here and Eastland over here, both at 90 degrees exactly. They're going to be some of the next places seeing those slightly cooler temperatures. But we are going to cool down as we get into the night, but we're still going to stay warm in the mid 70s like we've seen pretty consistently. 75 degrees for that low here in San Angelo, 79 up here in Abilene, but that's not the warmest. We've got 80 degrees here in Albany and Breckenridge for that low tonight. So some very comfortable lows that we're going to be seeing. Definitely not going to be cold in any sense of the word, but getting into your weekend, we're still not really going to see any form of cold, just more heat as we get into it. Saturday and Sunday getting around 100 degrees. We're really going to plateau around 100, maybe get up to 101. But Friday, of course, we do have those light rain chances in the afternoon and the evening. Thing, but again, they seem to stick mainly to the big country. Like you can see here in the climate predicts, excuse me, the storm prediction centers two day outlook. This just goes into Friday, mainly overtaking the entire big country. You can see Knox County is a part of this marginal risk as we get further north into the panhandle, into the panhandle and parts of Oklahoma. And this is all happening because of a cold front that's passing through the area. We've got high pressure that's starting to thin out, starting to weaken itself a little bit, and that's allowing this front to slowly move south into our area. Really not even going to get all the way into the big country. It's really going to start stop as it gets into the far northest parts of Texas, just barely getting into the Dallas area before bringing us some rain and dropping this instability down into the rest of the state. You can see it gets down even to parts of San Antonio, but our little section right here in the big country only getting as far south as what looks like Taylor, maybe a little bit of Reynolds County before that front decides to turn back up, move back north and become a stationary front. And all that rain is going to be leaving the state of Texas. So as we get later into the month of August, we've been talking a bit about climate. We can skip ahead to about two weeks out and it looks like we're going to continue to be warm. We got that good 40 to 50% chance of being above average in our temperatures and precipitation actually seems like it's going to be somewhat normal. Maybe some of our southern counties getting into that slightly above normal and some of our northern counties getting a little bit of that below normal. So hopefully we get even just a little bit of rain as we get over these next couple weeks. But moving back into the next seven days, we've just got more triple digits that light rain chance on Friday again, mostly for the big country, but mostly sunny skies sticking through the entire forecast triple digits all the way through and it seems like we'll warm up as we get later into next week.